Alright, so today's video is about histograms. Um, it's there. And I'm going to tell you that um, a histogram is just a way of looking at data. Um, and it is specifically a way of looking at data that has ranges of looking at ranges of data. Okay? And um, so uh, I had not seen histograms before I was asked to teach them. So this is going to be one of those that um, your parents may or may not have seen before. Um, and if they have, that's great. Um, and if they haven't, then a Google search may help, or maybe this video will. Um, so a histogram, um, first I'm going to give myself some data that would be good to use for a histogram. Now it has to be something that has a range of data. Okay, so um, we're going to do uh, test scores. Okay, so let's say that um, the test scores um, you know, uh, from the, the last test that we took, okay. um, and I'm actually going to do this two different ways to kind of show you um, what I mean by looking at ranges, okay? So test scores, okay? Um, I'm going to say that there were a bunch of kids taking a test. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six times three, 18. 18 kids took a test. Okay, so now I'm just going to make up some scores for these kids. Um, you know, some kids did well, some kids not so much. Um, some kids made the same grades as other kids. They weren't cheating, but they just did. Um, um, and so those are test scores, okay? So I could, you know, make myself a nice little graph with those test scores, okay? okay? So I could have um, you know, lines, okay? And then the top would be 100, so you can have that kid's. Um, and so then down here, you can know, have that kid's name. Okay, and then I'm not naming any of you guys, so um, I'm just going to give this kid um, the name Bob. Okay, Bob made 100. There's 100. Okay, um, there were you know, these different people that made 98s. Like you know, Sue and Sally both made 98. You know, so now I've got Bob's score here, and there's Bob's 100, and you know Sue made the 98, and Sally also made 98, and here's some other kid with a 98, and um, we just kind of keep going. Um, and then, quite frankly, I'm tired of it already, right? Because um, I would have to have all 18 students listed here, right? So instead, I'm going to make a histogram, okay? And on my histogram, I'm going to use ranges, okay? So 90 plus. Well, let's see who made 90 plus. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. Okay. Um, who made between an eighty and an eighty-nine? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Four kids made between an eighty and an eighty-nine. Um, between a seventy and a seventy-nine. Okay. One. And I think I forgot an eighty. I'll, I'll I'll catch it when I come back um, and count. Okay. Between a 60 and 69, 22. And between a 50 and a 59, like this guy. And then less than 50, that would be no guys. So that would be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 
And I know I have 17 numbers here, so I know I've missed someone. So I'm just gonna count again a little more slowly this time. Okay, so 90 plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have that. And between 80 and 89. One, two, three, four, five. Between 70 and 79. One, one. Between 60 and 69. One, two, three. There we go. Now eight plus five, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And now I have um, all of my information. Okay. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to make this same kind of bar looking thing. Um, but for here, I'm going to have zero, um, you know what, I didn't have anybody less than 50, so I'm actually going to take that out. I'm going to do 50, I'm going to do 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, okay, all right, and then Okay, so here's what I'm doing with this graph, okay? Now, one kid made between 50 and 59. So I can make this bar look like a range from 50 to 59, right below, right before 60, okay? okay? There's my one kid. Now, three kids made from a 60 to a 69. Okay. And one kid made between a 70 and a 79. Okay. Five kids, so one, two, three, four, five, made between an 80 and And then eight kids, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, eight made between 90 and 100. Okay. So, um, this graph can actually show me that, in general, you know, my class did pretty well. Like, look, most of them, most people made 100, um, but. There's this little chunk of people down here that didn't do so well, okay? But the thing about it that makes it a histogram, okay, um, the, the bottom, okay, has ranges of numbers, okay? Okay. No gaps, right? Okay, and as there's a gap here, and a gap here, and a gap here, okay? All right. So a histogram looks like a bar graph, um, but the um, big difference is it has no gaps, and the bottom is like a range of numbers. Okay, so that is kind of your intro to histograms.